there guys, my name is Coast Chow, YouTube Chow Dogster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to another channel update. Now of course, uh, we haven't done one of these in a long time where it's just me talking with you guys. Um, and I, th I think there's a channel, I think a channel update was needed today because of course we were talking about, um, as you can see by the title of the video, we're talking about what I've just uploaded yesterday and that was the... Um, the next episode of Coast Chell Chats, which is with Jordan Carter, who's the director of marketing at Silverwood Theme Park. And, um, yeah, that's down to you guys. That's down to you guys. You guys gave, gave me the opportunity and the platform to give give myself the opportunity. Um, and to be fair, this whole update is all about what we've done over the channel over the last few weeks. And we've done a lot of good stuff on the channel in recent weeks in terms of news updates. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what's to come on the channel as well, um, and just talk, just talk with you guys really. So, um, first thing really is the the Silverwood video we did yesterday and over the last week. Uh, now, of course, over the last week we had the announcement of Stunt Pilot, and um, you know I was chatting with the park uh, on uh, the media, and you know they were really nice. Couldn't fault it in either way. And then we started talking about potentially doing um, uh, an interview. And, you know, I was up for it, they were up for it, and we ended up getting it sorted. Um, you may have noticed in the interview there's some drop changes, some cuts here and there. And that is because uh, the internet connection on their end, by their own admission, was, was poor. So... You know, I worked with what I had. They were fine with it. They worked. I worked with what I had. They were okay. Were okay with everything, and uh, I had to, to make it look like there wasn't any internet connection problems. But that's all right. They they admitted they had poor internet connections from where they were filming from. So, um, you know, and to be fair, you can't really blame them. You know, it's from Idaho to the UK, so the the connection is going to be poor either way. But um, you know, I I had to as best as I could, and you guys obviously liked it. Um, you guys couldn't wait. It was my first premiere on the channel in, what, years? I think I did loads of premieres and someone said, why are you doing premieres all the time? So I just stuck to normal uploads. And then that was this is the first premiere I've done in about a year and a half. So, you know, it, uh, and obviously this is a big video, so obviously it needed the build-up. So, um, so obviously that came out at, at, at 7 o'clock um, in the evening. And... You know, that was a really good video to upload. The, the finished product, I was really proud of the finished product because Jordan's a lovely guy, um, brilliant guy, brilliant guy in charge of the director of marketing at Silverwood, brilliant guy, coaster enthusiast. Uh, so you guys will have seen the question that I put at the end of that video. Um, and, you know, it was just great to talk to. And uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I might be down there next May in 2021 to visit the opening of this coaster. Um, you know, maybe all the hashtags that you guys were commenting months ago, hashtag Coaster Child Cross the Pond, maybe that might happen next year, who knows? Um, I mean, we'll have to see what happens, but, um, that would be good. That would be fantastic to take you guys across the pond next year to Idaho to check this out. Um, Lagoon's about a 10 hour drive, so I think it would just be Silverwood Theme Park and not Lagoon as well. Um... But yeah, I think that a trip to Idaho would be good next year, in, in May especially, um, especially since it's in May. And, you know, all the rest of the stuff we've done on the channel as well this past couple of weeks have been, they've been mad. We've done loads of brilliant updates from the likes of Plots on Japan to just Summerland. There's a lot of projects to really get excited for uh, going into the next year. And you know that that you know and that makes the channel just so much. It, it gives the channel so much to work with because obviously, you know, we might do reviews next five years, plans, predictions. We might do vlogs as well. But the main content on this channel is the latest theme park and attractions news from around the world. Theme parks, attractions, museums, you know, different things like that. It's that's the main premise of the channel, the theme park news, and try and make it as natural as possible with the presenting style. And, you know, we're delivering. We're delivering a lot because we've had a lot of updates over the last couple of weeks. And those updates are still set to come. We've still got a lot of things that are being waiting to announce. And, um, you know, there's a lot of construction updates still to do. There's a lot of Halloween news that I'm sure will still come out. I'm still 
sort of thinking whether or not to do Alton Tower Scarefest this year since uh, York Mace Howler's Scream, the, the thrilling one's been cancelled for this year, and Yorkshire Scaregrounds in Wakefield's been cancelled. So the next one to me that's worth going to is Alton Tower Scarefest that's closest to me, and that's about an hour away. So, you know, Alton Tower Scarefest, I'm weighing it up. It's definitely one that I want to go to. Um, if my uni is going to be online for the first semester at, at all, and I'll have like a grant to work with, then obviously I would love to stay at that Holiday Inn in Shepparton and travel to Thorpe Park Fright Nights as well. Chessington Halloween maybe as well. Brick or Treat at Legoland Windsor. Do all three of them in one trip in one week or something. Um, that would be fantastic. But, you know, we've got to prioritise and things like that. So... I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'm looking at, not confirmed, but I'm looking at. Scarefest, Fright Nights, Brick or Treat, Halloween at Chessington. A lot of things I'm looking at, not confirmed as of yet, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to confirm some trips, hopefully, in the near future. And, of course, I'll keep you guys updated for when I do that. Um, and in terms of looking towards what's coming up on the channel, I mean, we've got a lot of stuff that's going to be hopefully coming up on the channel. Um, especially going into 2021. 2021 is going to be a very exciting year for the channel. I've got a gut feeling about it. Um, obviously, you know, we've got the opening of the World of David Williams, uh, Alton Towers. Uh, that's going to be a big one. Um, obviously, Thought Park's opening Black Mirror Labyrinth in 2021. I want to be down there for that, but I'll, I'll have to see. Uh, again, with that one, it'll have to be either Fright Nights or 2021 with Thought Park, depending. Um, obviously, Chessington's opening their brand new Croc Drop for 2021, new drop tower, so that'd be exciting to experience at some point. Um, Polton's Parts, Tornado Springs, that, Tornado Springs in March, that is one of the trips I've wanted to do for ages. I was going to do it in May when they originally scheduled to open it, then it was cancelled till 2021, and now I want to really experience it. Uh, in March when it opens so uh, you know hopefully I'll be there in March in 2021 um, to the opening of this new area and uh, if not then I'll try and make it out you know around the summertime um, and there's a lot of different things going on uh, obviously the stuff with Idaho that's in 2021 that's potentially been thrown to the mix for a trip and um, you know this is definitely going to be an exciting year I can I, I've just got a good feeling about it um, but that's all down to you guys. That is completely down to you guys. Now, of course, we've done a lot of stuff with the second channel as well. So make sure you go subscribe to that in the description down below. Um, and, you know, make sure you go and su you know, make sure you go and support the second channel. Even if you're not a football fan, make sure you go and subscribe to that channel. Because we do put a lot of content onto both channels now. And uh, make sure you also go and subscribe to my TikTok, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram. I'm trying to get good on Twitter now. Uh, TikTok, I want to try and upload more. Um, Snapchat, I, I don't do enough on Snapchat to be honest. Uh, Instagram, definitely uh, do a lot or, or over there already. So, uh, you know, that's all sorted there. Um, I'm debating, now there's something that, I know there's a new app called Flick. Now I'm debating whether I do like a Flick chat for this channel or uh, for both channels and just do a Flick chat for YouTube in, entirely. Um, but I'm not sure how Flick works yet, so I might leave that until a couple of years down the line. <laughs> until, until we get more subs. Um, but, in fact, now, while we're here, I've got my phone at the side of me. I want to double check, actually, how many views the channel's got. Because I swear we're nearly at 500,000. And I'm checking this live right now. Um, double checking this. Um, because I think last time I checked, we were, we were only a little bit off 500,000 views. And... Uh, yeah, so we've got 463,925 views across all of our videos, which, to be perfectly honest, that is just, I can't believe that, and we're, we're, we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, by the way, as well, we're getting, we're, nearly, we're around about halfway to 1,900, so we're nearly 100 off, we're getting close to 100 off of the 2K, which, to be honest, after do we, we, we've only done two full years on YouTube, which surprises me entirely that we've only done two full years because it feels like I've done like five or something. It feels like time's gone, you know, like that. But you know, it, it's just it, the support that this channel's been getting is fantastic. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the 500,000 view mark across all of our videos. Make sure you go check back some of the older ones as well because those are usually historic videos now. 
and um, you know when we get round to November December time that's when some of the first few videos start turning two years old and that's when I'll start feeling um, very very old from this point um, but you know we've got plenty of stuff that's going to be coming onto the channel over the next few weeks over the next few months you know we've got some big Christmas plans uh, we aim to do the vlogmas thing again. I might, you know, get my musical theatre pipes out and do some Christmas intros. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it'd be nice to do that. But I hope I can get my uh, my mic working to do that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is just a little channel update. Just to say thank you very much, guys. Um, just to say thank you. Uh, because, you know, you guys have got me to this stage. You guys have, you know, got me to this point where I could be talking about trips uh, to America and to Europe. And... You know, you guys were the reason for that. So, honestly, thank you guys so, so much. Um, you know, I'll be pre-recording a lot of next five-year videos. Do not worry with the fact that Six Flags has pretty much delayed their new 2021 editions, 2022, or they haven't announced them yet. Um, you know, I am going to be doing next five-year um, plans for Six Flags Parks. Those will be coming in 2021, so make sure you stay tuned for them. Uh, we are going to be doing other next five year videos for other parks that may not be investing in 2021 or delaying their 2021 investment. Um, those ne next year five year plans will be you know pre-recorded, ready for upload over the next few weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. And um, yeah, this is this is just a little channel update just to say thank you for the support and just keep you guys updated on how you know the Silverwood video came about because I think that's one of our top. Not in terms of views, it's not one of the top videos at the minute, but. The whole premise of the video is definitely one of the bi one of the biggest videos we've filmed this year. Um, you know, I think in 12 months, I think that you know, we, I mean, over the over the full two years on the channel, we've done some big videos. You know, we interviewed Morgs, we did um, you know the the Toby Foster Breakfast Show on BBC Radio Sheffield, and you guys loved that video when I explained that situation. Um, and I'm still grateful for that experience, by the way. The free press stuff, I explained that. Um, you know, and now this possible trip to Idaho next year, um, possible opening day tickets from the park. That would be brilliant. That would be amazing if we did, if we got that done. So, you know, so this whole Silverwood situation came about because of the interview video, uh, yesterday. So, you know, it'd be interesting to keep tabs on that, see what happens with Silverwood, um, and what they're doing. And, you know, possibly, possibly, not confirmed in either way, this is probably, at the minute, In the, t to be honest, at this point, it's got like a 10% chance, but there's a real opportunity that that 10% can grow, and it could be more probable towards May 2021. But, at the minute, we could be on for an Idaho trip next year, and to be fair, if that still went ahead next year, I can't wait for it. I can't wait to go to America for the first time. So, um... You know, all that may come to effect next year. So, of course, we can't confirm anything at this stage. But all that might come to effect next year. And I can't wait for it if it does. So, uh, make sure you stay tuned across all our social medias for more information on that. But, for now, guys, thank you for watching this little channel update. I'll be back with another channel update. You know, whenever something else massive happens with me or the channel. And, uh, yeah, just, just keep tabs across all our medias. Because uh, any opportunities that I get and I get to experience, and I finally get the chance to tell you guys about, it'll all be here on the channel. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. <laughs>